the singles contest and for one fall. And it is for the CSW Southland Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger. He is one half of the CSW Tag Team Champions. Representing the Simon. Presenting the Lunatic. It's time for one half of tonight's double main event. This for the CSW Southland Championship. The Saints and Sinners are not in full force. Hunter Payne wanted the entire asylum by himself, but at this rate, the best that he can do is take on the Lunatic one-on-one, -on -one, and Lunatic has demanded a title shot. contenders for the CSW Tag Team Championships, but he is by himself. He does not have his partner Marco Anthony on his side. He does not have Scott Spade, no Polish crippler. It's Hunter Payne against the Lunatic one-on-one, -on -one. but the Strangler is at ringside. The keeper Eric Edwards is also here. So there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye because despite this being one-on-one, -on -one, it's almost three-on-one -on -one when you have all those men involved in this situation. Hunter Payne can call it two-and-a-half-on-one, but it isn't. We're underway. A lunatic, a champion. Hunter Payne, a champion. But tonight, if Hunter Payne loses, it'll be the lunatic having all the championship gold. And the lunatic's been on a crazy good roll lately. And if he could get a victory when it matters the most here at CSW Southland and Kankakee, he could have two championships on the way out the door. Connor Payne immediately sends Lunatic backwards onto the back of his own head. Hunter Payne's last victory. CSW Southland in Bourbon A, December 14th. He defeated Braun the Lumberjack, who was one of the members of the Asylum. You almost have to think, could Braun the Lumberjack actually be a part of this match at some point during this battle tonight? The Saints and the Sinners were able to work together as an alliance in September 28, 2013 in order to help Hunter Payne win a battle royale and then eventually cash in his title opportunity to defeat Ace Martino to be the second ever CSW Southland champion. The opportunity for a tag team title match is yet to be determined. Eventually, Lee Payne will face the Asylum. And the Strangler immediately grabbing the ankle of Hunter Payne, almost allowing Lunatic to attack Hunter Payne with these forearm strikes. Lunatic with all of the top right hands. The bigger issue is with Johnny Wilde, who clearly has been showing a little bit more preferential treatment for anyone not associated with Elite Payne. And you can see Lunatic's got Luke Tafano's attention while the keeper Eric Edwards and the Strangler attack Hunter Payne in the corner. Hunter Payne as well as Marco Anthony are the number one contenders for the tag team titles as a result of defeating Carlos Rivera and Sean Mulligan in a tag team bout. 
but the Lunatic and the Strangler lost the tag team bout in River Grove against Tri-State Airstrike, so they've got an arguable what claim to be a number one contenders too, but this match isn't about tag team championship goals. You gotta make a statement in every match, and I think in this match in particular, Hunter Payne wants to win this match, so he's got the momentum before the tag team title battle that is going to transpire eventually later on. We anticipate sometime in the next couple of months, uppercut by the lunatic puts Hunter Payne in a distressed position, seated on that bottom turnbuckle pad. Lunatic sends Hunter Payne in the corner. Big splash, but Hunter Payne caught him. Watch out! Belly to belly suplex. He threw Lunatic around like a, a total revolution, 180 degrees, and was able to spin him around with these on that truck. The Lunatic with the Strangler were on an undefeated streak until April 4th, and with the keeper, Eric Edwards, allowing the Lunatic to be loose here tonight, to let him do whatever he wants. The insanity, the voices will creep up. And despite the Lunatic's recent defeat to Mitch Blake at a recent CSW Southland event, the Lunatic can avenge that loss and much more by winning the most important match tonight against Hunter Payne in this ring. The asylum seems to be growing bigger and bigger. Can the Saints and Sinners manage the numbers that are transpiring here? Headbutt into the top turnbuckle pad. Hunter Payne with a and plants him with a body slam towards the middle of the ring, damaging the back of the lunatic. The strangler now, why is he in the ring? He's not allowed to be in there. Drop hold, and the strangler just sent his head crashing into the lunatic's head basket. And I think he even saw a view of the broccoli and the carrots. Lunatic tries to get up, but the Strangler escapes under the bottom rope. Strangler has a hold of a chair. Hunter Payne has all of his attention diverted in the direction facing the Strangler. This is a numbers game right now, and Hunter Payne is clearly against the odds. Now Hunter Payne trying to stalk the Strangler on the outside of the ring. Lunatic ready to chase after Hunter Payne. Oh, no! Lunatic attack, Hunter Payne from behind. And the Strangler has left the picture. Oh, head first into the solid steel post, one of the hardest surfaces of the entire ring. The Lunatic now has control of this match, and it's almost the main, a level of certainty at this point that the Lunatic's gonna take advantage of this situation. The Strangler had a role in this match, and according to the Asylum's plan, it was to distract for just enough period of time to put Hunter Payne in trouble inside of the ring. Lunatic to the ropes. Nice flipping senton backsplash. Great agility exercise by the Lunatic, who is mad and possessed at the possibilities of having his raised on behalf of the Asylum to be the brand new CSW Southland champion tonight. Right hands to the six foot five inch, 290 pound Hunter Payne. He has him laid up against the ropes. Lunatic runs in, misses with the right hand. Hunter Payne close lines Lunatic over the top rope to the floor, but Hunter Payne's own momentum crashed him all the way to the floor as well. Referee Lou Tofano checking on both individuals on the floor. The match will continue despite their landing. And at this point, there is a question, there is a definitely question as far as whether one of these two men will be able to continue. Lunatic is back in the ring. So obviously the keeper Eric Edwards would love for the referee to continue this match despite these elements. Lunatic in pain inside of the ring. The keeper Eric Edwards doing some damage to Hunter Payne on the outside. Keeper trying to convince the referee Lou Tafano that he's trying to help him back in the ring. And Hunter Payne is still on the ground below. And Lunatic eventually rolls the big man back into the ring. Hunter Payne is hurt, and he might be he might have a definitely damaged back and shoulder after taking that drop all the way to the floor. Lunatic trying to choke Hunter Payne 
along that middle rope and support. And now the keeper Eric Edwards in the background is providing additional assistance with a guillotine choke along that middle rope too. CSW Southland, Kankakee, Illinois, we're at TNT hitting as Hunter Payne again takes the fall all the way to the outside. CSW Southland Championship at stake as the keeper Eric Edwards continues to attack. Hunter Payne on the floor with a right hand. Hunter Payne trying to shake it off. Gets to his feet for a moment. And the keeper, each one of those clobbering shots is losing its potency over time. Lunatic final. Oh my! The knockout shot sends Eric Edwards down onto the floor. So now Hunter Payne might have just evened the odds. Hunter Payne, the lunatic. Oh, lunatic kicks that middle rope right upwards into Hunter Payne's middle. And definitely the cherries have been split. Hunter Payne sent into the corner. Lunatic with a great amount of strength with a side slam. We might have a new champion right now, Hunter Payne. Too big, too massive, too strong at this moment. Refuses to stay down. Runa takes still in control of Hell's Cowboy Hunter Payne. One half of the asylum. Well, not really one half, but one of the members of the asylum. One half of the CSW Tag Team Champions. The Lunatic against Hunter Payne. And if he's going for that corkscrew splash, it could be the beginning of the end for Hunter Payne. Watch out! Oh my! He missed the spinning senton backsplash, that corkscrew splash. He almost hit the ceiling on that drop, my goodness. Deck to find drop 10, 15 feet in the air in order to get that momentum on the drop. And Hunter Payne going at it, shot for shot, punch for punch. And Hunter Payne runs Lunatic head first into the top turnbuckle pad. I've never seen Hunter Payne clobber the Lunatic like this before. And I think at one time, these two might have been fighting for the same cause, but not anymore. Hunter Payne is on a quest to put the asylum down by himself. And he's got to take care of the Lunatic to fulfill that prophecy. He might be going for a big one as he stands on the top rope. He's going for it all. Watch out! Superplex! And both men crumble onto the mat below. Hunter Payne trying to recover, draping his big body on top of the Lunatic. But the Lunatic shoots his right shoulder up just before the count of three. Hunter Payne cannot retain the title at this moment. The match is going to continue. The keeper, Eric Edwards, is now on his feet again. Hunter Payne has the lunatic in the corner as he delivers a massive chop on one side. Throws him against another corner. Hunter Payne misses with the running body attack. He hurt his own chest on that attack. The lunatic misses with a swinging right hand. Saddle slam attempt. If Hunter Payne can hit this, he could put the lunatic's lights out right away. There it is. Saddle slam, and nobody gets up from that. And that's it. Hunter Payne has retained the CSW Southland Championship. CSW Wrestling fans are a little bit people. And still, CSW Southland. Asylum is trying to attack the champion after the match had already concluded. Trying to turn, twisting around. Neck breaker applied by the Strangler with that noose. Knee drop by the Strangler. Gorilla Jolly Wild in the picture now. Another forearm drop. The Asylum trying to put in their last two cents and make sure Hunter Payne's night ends in a bad, nasty manner at this rate. Wow, everything is just frozen in time as Hunter Payne has been laid out in the ring. He does not look like a winner right now. And Johnny Wilde has ordered these men 
the asylum to stop what they're doing. Johnny Wilde still checking on the condition. And Hunter Payne has won this match, but he's not happy about what has just happened. What is the lunatic doing in the ring? He's cornered Mike Newman. The lunatic is obviously displeased about the fact that Hell's Cowboy Hunter Payne was declared the winner of this match. And now Edward, what was that all about? Come on, he's a ring announcer. Oh my goodness, he just body slammed him in the ring. And now they're stopping the daylights out of Mike Newman. What did he ever do to you? Now they're trying to choke the man out with a chair. Here's Hunter Payne back, trying to scare away the asylum. But too little, too late. The damage has already been done. Unbelievable. Our ring announcer has taken a nasty fall in the ring. The Strangler attacking Mike Newman with a numerous shots and then the, the stomps in the chair. And now you got Benoit Gorilla Johnny Wilde all distressed about it too. Well, this is a serious situation. The asylum has laid out another innocent bystander for no apparent reason. That was totally unnecessary. Now what?